In my last video on brushless motors, there was a question in the comments as to whether these chips contain a governor to limit the maximum speed of these fans. Now, for, on a DC motor, you can change the, the speed in three different ways by changing the supply voltage, by changing the current in the field windings, or the resistance in the armature here. Now, these series DC motors, they can exhibit a condition called runaway. And if you start them with no load on them, they can actually overspeed and destroy themselves just with the centrifugal force. So you never want to start these with, with no load. And what, what happens there is that the uh, uh, counter electromotive force produced in the field is weak so that the uh, armature must turn faster to produce a sufficient EMF to balance the supply voltage. And uh, it'll just... Uh, take off and keep running faster and faster and faster until it destroys itself. So you never want to start these series DC motors with, with no load on them. But that's not the case here. We're going to see how fast this motor can spin, if there is a governor on there or not. And to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm, I, I took a fan here and I tied one lead right here to this, uh, to one of these uh, open collector outputs here. And every time this magnet comes around here, trips this Hall effect sensor, I'm going to get a pulse on this, a little square wave, and that's going to happen once a revolution, so it's going to give us our frequency, and then we can calculate the, the RPM from that. And then the other probe, I'm going to put on the VCC to ground, and we'll monitor our voltage. So we'll see their voltage and our frequency at the same time on the scope. This is a 12-volt fan. We're going to start it out at, uh, see when it starts spinning, what voltage, and uh, see if there's a maximum uh, voltage. Now, these units are, you know, I think this one's good for 20 volts or something. Over that, I'll probably uh, destroy the chip, and that'll that'll stop the motor. But uh, we'll see what uh, we'll see what happens. We'll go take a look at the scope. All right, here we are at the scope. Now, this is the uh, the voltage here. The uh, current voltage is uh, two point uh, say two and a half volts. It's in, it's in millivolts there, and the frequency is going to be be up on top here. And the, the fan is off right now. So actually the fan started up, and we've got uh, 93 hertz and uh, six, 6 volts. This is a 12 volt fan, so we're going to bring it up to, uh, say, 10 volts here, and we're at... Uh, 150, uh, 160 hertz or so up top there if we can see it. Let's bring it up to our 12 volts here. We got this on 10, 10 scale here, so this is uh, that's that's going to be uh, 1.2, which is going to be our 12 volts, 12.5 volts there. So I got it on a times 10 scale keep it on the screen here and so let's bring it right to 12 something like that and the uh, frequency is uh, it's 189 Hertz okay and that's what the fan is rated for right there so let's let's bring it up let's see if it how fast we can get this thing to go I have it this is 1.5 so that's 15 volts and we've got um, 240 hertz. We've got uh, 20, 20 volts here. Close to 20. And we have 270 hertz. Let's go up to 20. We've got 21 volts. We've got 278 hertz. And if we go up to 24 volts, it does back off. It's uh, it's down to 213 and 25. It is it is dead. The chip just can't do that. Now whether that's a governor or not, I'm not sure. But. Uh, 
so it maxes out about 20 volts and 24 then the, the rpm drops off to uh, to nothing there so at 27 volts the fan's not not working so i guess that's uh that kind of saves the fan so i i would have i'm thinking there is some kind of governor in there so there we go we'll, we'll try it up again so we'll get we're down to uh, seven volts 120 volts 23 volts as soon as we get to 24 the rpm drops way off and 25 it's down to uh, 72 hertz and then it's off at 27 it's off so yeah very good all right uh thank you